London's Chinatown. Its location has shifted over the decades, reflecting the shifting fortunes of Britain and China and their relationship. These days, Chinatown is located in the heart of the British capital, a short walk from the House of Parliament and Buckingham Palace, which is where President Xi Jinping is staying while in London. Lawrence Lee from the London Chinatown Chinese Association tells me what's being described as the golden era ahead between China and Britain has in fact already begun. Majors of you know, companies, they're coming over to set up their companies here and a lot of building projects, creating jobs and also bring in a lot of um, you know, prosperity over here. UK business leaders say a lot of investment and trade is also flowing the other way. If we look at UK exports to China, they're growing really strongly, unlike many of our competitor countries. And in fact, in the first seven months of this year, China was the fourth largest export market. The true depth of trade and investment links between Britain and China sometimes goes unnoticed to the casual observer. Many people here wake up to a bowl of Weetabix, a British classic now made by a Chinese company. Then they might ride to work in an iconic black cab made by Chinese automaker Geely, and throughout the day they'll probably drink several cups of tea, which Britain actually exports to China. Britain hopes the golden era will take it to the number two trading position with China by 2025, and that President Xi's visit will cement what is also being called the special relationship between the UK and China. I'm sure the visit can only add to the momentum that exists, and I think very significantly. So it's a really, really important visit. That's a view shared by the British government that believes over the coming days China and the UK will sign deals worth more than 46 billion US dollars. Jack Barton, CCTV, London.